the people of El Salvador, of Guatemala, of Honduras, uh, we have talked many times during our meetings about who they are. They are not unlike people all over the world. Um, when they leave their home country, the place of their birth, the place where their grandmother might still leave, um, they usually leave for one of two reasons, not because they want to, but either because they are fleeing some harm or because they simply cannot satisfy the basic needs of themselves or their family if they stay. The work of this group of leaders in this call to action has been the work of addressing one of the main reasons that they leave, and that is the lack of economic opportunity if they stay at home not because they don't have talent or skills or a work ethic or desires, but simply because the natural resources of their environment may not accommodate opportunities for them to satisfy those needs or to achieve any type of success. So this group of leaders, this group of extraordinary private sector, private enterprise leaders, has agreed to come to this table countless times to address these challenges, but also understanding and fueled by a sense of opportunity in terms of what we can provide for the people of these countries. And so I thank you again for that. I thank you because we also acknowledge and understand that the environment in which we exist includes that often when folks leave these countries, um, they are forced to leave their home and undertake a very dangerous journey to arrive here 